Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of the Wadden Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Tracy. And you can find us on Instagram as Wool and Wishes. So this is a place where we talk about all things knitting, crochet, spinning, mm. a bit of sewing and all the woolly things. Um, welcome everybody. Today we're just past a thousand subscribers yeah, so thank you and, yeah it's amazing it is so amazing um bit of admin um a couple of the winners from the last episode yeah. wasn't it the giveaway haven't got in touch with us yet so if you haven't watched our last episode episode four if you go back and have a look at that and see if you've won yeah and then contact us um by email which yeah, is in the which description is in the description below yeah so yeah so should we start with um what i'm wearing yeah we'll start with what you're wearing so I made this um, last year, I think now, and I haven't really worn it much, but it's the Sapilla, I think that's how you say it, Sapilla by Caitlin Hunter. And I knit this, I've, I'll t untuck it, I so nice. did the border. I knit this with um, Drops Baby Merino. I can't remember the colours, but I think it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice pattern. Summer top. It was quite, because uh, it's fingering weight as well. Yeah. It was quite a lot. I hadn't done a fingering weight colour work by the time I got to yeah. this one. So nice. But I so went nice. up a needle size, like it recommended in the pattern for uh, the colour work. Yeah. And then, no, yeah, up a needle size and then went down. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I did follow that. But I like the drops merino as well. Yeah. It, yeah, it's nice. Nice it, and it soft. It always looks like cotton. Yeah. I think. With, yeah. With that, the drops of merino when you. When you knit it, it looks cotton. I've made a few shawls out of Jobs Merino, actually, but um, it's it does peel a bit, though. Yeah. You know, I haven't worn it very much, and it's already got a few yeah. um, pills. But, yeah, happy so with that. Nice. But it, it comes in a long sleeve as well, the version where the colour work is on the uh, oh, sleeves right. here as well. So I might um, yeah. knit another one in the future. I like Caitlin Hunter's patterns. The um, sleeves are quite fitted, though, so you have got to be mindful right. of how, you know, big your arms are yeah. in comparison yeah. on the but it's all in the arm pattern so yeah nice that's lovely that? all right what we're we gonna do now are you gonna do finished oh yeah finished object i've only got one finished object. one finished object yeah, yeah. and that is the 24 day spot um. by emma potter I think it was Emma Potter. Yeah, Potters and Bloom. Um, so yeah, finally finished them. These They're were my gorgeous. these were the birthday socks. Yeah, yeah, the birthday me. yarn. The birthday yarn. Oh, it's gorgeous. But I love these. Absolutely I love, love that them. pattern. It, it yeah, it was so nice, so easy to knit as well. The pattern repeat. You remember it. But yeah, I, I really. Have. Enjoyed them. Oh, there's a seam there down there. Oh yeah, yeah. That's... Side with where the it's where, ribbing yeah. matches. Yeah. Up with the. Just wear them on the inside. <laughs> it's got the um rib and then uh garter, stripe. Stripe, yeah, garter. And then, so two colours. Yeah, and I knit that with the Ducky Darlings sister set, which I've shown before. Um, and that was in the colourway Blush and Tangerine. But yeah, they were really fun. fun to knit. I like that as well, that it's got the garter straight after the um, yeah. ribbon. Yeah, I would definitely knit them again. Do they fit all right? Fit perfect. Is that your usual heel as well? Yep, usual heel. But yeah, so nice. I would definitely do them again. Fun. Yeah. Fun. Um... So my first finish object is, I think I showed this in episode one, which is um, Sockhead Hat by Kelly McClure. That's right, isn't it? Kelly McClure. Yeah. And I made this with holding um, three strands together of drops, kid silk in just white, um, Knit Picks Chroma lace in the sandstone, and the King Carl Cosmos, which is the um, sequin so nice. yarn, which actually they've got this on Wool Warehouse. And I think it's about £3.55 a ball and oh, all wow. different colours. But it's jam packed with sequins. Is it easy to knit with? 
Um, I had to be mindful holding three strands. Yeah. That I didn't drop one, so that's why it's taken so long. Yeah. Because it wasn't as relaxing as it could have been. But I'll... Oh, it's so nice. Put it on. Um, <gasps> so I didn't make it as long yeah. as the pattern yeah, calls like, for. Yeah. It's got a little bit of um, slouch there, but... Oh, it's so nice. So warm as well with the... <sighs> and actually, the mohair, because sequins could have been a bit scratchy in it yeah. but i think with the um mohair it softens it so yeah. there's no scratch or anything yeah here but oh i love I that another, sort my hair out again now. <laughs> that Do is another. so nice but they've got this um sequin yarn in lots of different colors they've got a gold silver a black with the rainbow sequins and was that just as one well. ball that yeah used? i've got loads left as well oh, wow. but it was I think it was like 25 grams and it had sort of 300 or more meterage. Oh, wow. On it, so. Oh, I really loads. want to make one of them. Yeah, really fun. That's really nice. So, yeah, yeah. there's that. Shall I go on to it? Yeah, yeah. Another finished. Right, so. I'm absolutely <gasps> in love with this. I'll get you to help me hold yeah, it. It's beautiful. This is the. Um, New Light by Meg Gadsby and it is so in the really massive isn't it? Yeah in the pattern oh. it's asymmetric triangle but in the pattern it's two different colours. Right. Um I used the same colourway um by Siobhan's Crafts. It's um rainbow on a mountain top in the squiggle yarn if you hold it closer. Yeah. The squiggle yarn which is this um section here. And then uh, the Sori Alpaca, which is... Yeah, which the pattern I think called for sort of mohair. So it's got this eyelet section. Um, oh, so nice. And then a garter, thank you, garter section with um, a little bit of stockinette yeah. in it. But it's really long, so I've already blocked this. I got out the um, lace blockers as well, you know, yeah. the long... Um, Pulse for this, but yeah, so I still had a bit so left of both of the skeins. So I think it calls for sort of 316 meters of both yarns. That is beautiful. Oh, put it on to oh. show how that looks. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy with this. Really nice, and it's like really squishy and it's beautiful. even more to yeah. wrap around. But I'll probably that wear it. It's so nice in the winter. Like that. It's so cozy. It's too warm. Yeah. Now for it. Yeah. But I love this so oh, much. It's beautiful. And Siobhan's dyeing for this colours was like perfect. So yeah, the squiggle yarn. I'm gonna show another close up. Oh I'm getting Yeah. So I'm saying she's trying to get a classic <laughs> getting caught up with the But with the squiggle yarn, it's got all these um slubs in it which creates sort of bobbles yeah um automatically in it so i haven't really knit anything with bobbles so this was a it's so yeah, nice so fun i love that so yeah new light by meg gadsby and that was uh sorry my show notes are just <laughs> falling down there as well but yeah that was on sale as well when because i'm a sucker for a sale so yeah. it comes up on instagram or straight straight away I just yeah. love the colours. The colours are beautiful. It's like Absolutely birthday beautiful. cake. Um, yeah, icing. confetti. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. So really. Well done. Really happy with that. You're so good at choosing your colours. Well, I think it you... was easy with this. And that's why I thought, because it's rainbow, of having the two the same. Yeah. But. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Couldn't resist. Couldn't love resist. that. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got a... So it would be a whip. Yeah. I'm going to go off camera to have a drink. <laughs> so I'll show my, my um, let me make sure it's the right, the right way. My shawl. So I haven't finished this one yet. So this is the Abrazo, Abrazo, Abrazo shawl by Lauren Slagle. Um, Lolo did it 
is her Instagram yeah. and website. But I am loving this. I am absolutely loving knitting this. Um, it has little wraps every 11 oh, rows. Oh, wow. Do a close-up on there. Yeah, they're they wrapped. So you stitches. do a row of wraps. And it's, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. You're in a um, sort of yellow and mustard and pink phase. I am, I am. With stuff. I am. But yeah, it's so nice. I was hoping to finish it, but I am, um, yeah, I've had a bit of fatigue. But sometimes it's a sort of pick up and put down projects when you yeah. know it's going to take a while. Yeah, I mean, this one I couldn't I couldn't put down. Yeah. I was like, oh, what should I knit on? Oh, I'll pick up the shawl again. And I thought I would get it finished, but I didn't. It won't be Lovely. long. Is it asymmetrical triangle again, yeah? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Was this... Um, one that could be done in two colours. Yep, this is a one skein, but you can do it in two skeins. And next time, I'm definitely going to do this one again. Would um, the wrap detail have been in a different colour? It would have popped. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't really, unless you're looking at... I mean, when you... It's hard I mean, to I'm see right with here, the light. So... It's hard to see with the light. You can sort of see them. But I think, I yeah, these, if I do it um, in the... plum bits in the yarn as well. Yeah, it's the nice, isn't it? So this is... Okay, surprise, surprise. Ah. Uh -huh. Bird Street Yarn. And that is in the colourway Blooming Lovely. Gorgeous. But yeah, it is such a nice pattern to and you, again you remember. And with this one, I did have I made a mistake. Yeah. On the lace. Like I I kept looking at the lace and I was like, it's off. So I oh. must have been off a stitch. And I mended it. <laughs> I fixed it. Brilliant. I was like, right, I've got to, I'm just gonna Take the needle, I took the needle right out. Really? Yeah, and just frogged it back and then picked it up and i done it. I was like, oh, wow. But when I was doing it, I was thinking, I've done all this knitting, I'm going to have to frog the whole lot. But Amazing. Yeah, yeah I was I quite I think that's pleased. the thing with um, knitting. It's the hard yeah, part I'm, to get over. And when you can at... read your knitting and fix it, Yeah. That's. I think that's the hard part of yeah. knitting. yeah. Yeah. Getting the confidence to fix your mistakes and knowing how yeah. to fix it. Whereas normally mistakes. I would have just literally, I would have put it down for ages and thought I'm not doing it. And then I would have either just frogged the whole lot. Yeah. I wouldn't have even tried because I knew that it had lace and I thought there's no way I'm going to. But I did. I was I'm glad you. I mean, there might be. Sticking it with might, it. I mean, I can't see nice. at all where I've done it. So, yeah. Very pleased with that. And um, I can't wait to finish it, hopefully, by the next podcast it will be finished yes yes yeah, so i've got a couple of whips that i'm still working on that i'm not going to show you today that's what i was working on the ghost whisperer i haven't yeah. done any more on that that was the blue mohair oh yeah i'm um, top from last time. i haven't worked on that since last time and i've got some mittens that arnie and carlos coloring mittens oh, yeah. i haven't worked on those yeah but either. yeah the shawls oh did you see oh i can't think of her name now ruth loves to knit Oh, her, sh yeah, her shawl episode. She's made me just want to knit all the shawls yeah. now. Ruth loves to knit. Go and check out um, her podcast if yeah. you haven't um, oh, she's subscribed. So lovely. She is so lovely. But her shawls, I, I, I was knitting on this when I was watching it and I was just like, oh. And then I started going on Ravelry. What, yeah. what can I, what ones can I make? She mentioned about um, shawls and the good thing about shawls is you haven't got to worry about fit. Or anything yeah. you can do complicated stitches have fun combining yarns yeah. and things like that but it did remind me of how much i love shawls or yeah. why i love shawls yeah so yeah 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 i've got a i've got another shawl to show but i won't show that just yet i've got some uh yarns this is my latest hand spun this is um john arban textiles yarnadelic which is 100 percent falklands corriedale in the colorway black gold of the sun so i was spinning this before my sweater spin Ooh, up nice. close and i took this off the wheel to do my sweater spin and put this back on but it's like oil spill that oh, all the colors there so nice like rainbow within the black but obviously if you take it back it reads as a um black yeah 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 charcoal gray i suppose yeah but I spun this um, DK, 263 metres. There was actually 111 grams in there. So, nice. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'll make with it um, yet. 
I will say a little bit of the dye came out when I was washing it. So right. I originally thought I might use it for colour work with a lighter colour. Yeah. But I think where um, a bit of the dye came out. Yeah. Which, you know, happens. And oh, I yeah, suppose yeah. with high, highly saturated colours, you're going to get a bit of That's lovely. Um, bleeding. So, yeah, that was fun. Nice. There's another close-up of it. Black gold of the sun. But I'd seen this and wanted to spin some of this for ages. Yeah. But that's the thing, if for spinning, I think you can buy this yarn right. uh, already spun right. on Arbens in different weights. Yeah. But I think it ends up maybe £15 or £17, something like that for the 100 gram. Don't quote me on it. Yeah. But it's like £5 for the fibre. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, you can't go wrong. No. It means you can have the sort of luxury you've got to spin it yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So, there we go. Right. That's that of um finished objects i've got one more to show should oh, we pause oh. yeah and then okay. should i come back yeah all right. should we pause and i'll come back with my other one so we're back and with um finished object so this is the granny go round jumper by iron lamb that i showed on the last episode as a whip oh Christ. the main so it's crochet yeah and the main um body of the sweater jumper is scraps sock weight scraps so commercial sock down things like opal drop yep. stable um stuff like that that i held double the original pattern is in um stylecraft dk and then i added cuffs um and collar i did the i did a turtleneck because the it already came to here so once i'd had a ribbon it would have been touching my neck anyway so i yeah. thought i did it which i can wear like knitted that, that okay. yeah i've knitted that so i just crocheted um single crocheted round and the yeah. same with the sleeve single crocheted round with the stitch stitches that were there and then picked up in a i think a four millimeter needle and i used dk can't remember the yarn actually it's so beautiful it goes so well that green thank you oh. i did a um tubular bind off yeah, for the um, I do like a tubular cuffs bind. there and I did a tubular bind off for this as well which was um a two by two yeah so I watched a tutorial where essentially you take it back to a one by one yes and then yeah make the collar so it's I'll stand so up nice. and show I just opted for uh I think it was three rows of single crochet because I had so much yeah of the green here that I thought it only needs yeah, a tiny bit a little bit there oh it's lovely so nice thank you so i did um muck up with the gauge i didn't gauge swatch or oh, i did a little bit measured it and sort of stretched it and thought that was fine yeah. which it wasn't um so i had to play around with the increases here and then i ended up with really big sleeves so i decreased it in the same way that it shows you on this part in the pattern yeah it's a page four pattern um i decreased it here and I started knitting these sleeves longer, but then I had this puffed part here right. and a skinny part here. Yeah. So I just kept it short sleeves. Yeah. I also um, started crocheting this longer and I got down to sort of here. Yeah. And it was too tight because right. I would have needed to increase here really yeah. to allow it to get over yeah. um, the hips. So that's sort of why it's the length it is. But yeah, I can tuck the collar under as well which i actually think looks a bit better than the yeah it's lovely. turned over so i love this it's so fun and i used up so many scraps i should have weighed it actually and yeah. seen how much it it yeah. weighs but it's got to be i'm definitely gonna do do one of them it's quite heavy yeah and, i remember um, when i yeah so yeah so nice well done thank you it's but... lovely we're gonna to have to pause again though, so I can take it off a bit. Yeah, it's like too hot today to yeah. sit in um wear yeah, this. So yeah. Fine. Oh, excuse me, got this back on again, all hot and flustered now. <laughs> Getting changed. Right. So another whip. Yeah, another whip. So I went through um Ravelry yeah. and typed in I can't remember what I typed in now, scraps scrappy or stash. Oh, because nice. like I said before, when I'm doing the Granny Stripe um, blanket. I want to use all these yarns that I've had for years 
when I first started crocheting I want to start using them yeah so I typed it in and this come out so this is the I'll show you a better picture in a minute a uh, stash buster granny cardigan by I think it's it says by dot daisy dot dots <laughs> um I've not heard of them but that's what come up and I saw it and I thought that is so beautiful. fun I don't know whether you can see it better the bigger on the bigger but how nice is that that looks so fun and a cardigan so as well nice. yeah like we were talking about more versatile yeah yeah nice for in the evening in the garden Lovely. summer's evening so yeah so i went through my stash and i found oh sorry i'm swinging around on this chair <laughs> it's easily done it? really the swing chair. um oh, i love that yeah it, it, it's really I nice love, colors purple is my favorite color and I love it. The yarn, so let me show you first. I've not done much of it, but I've just started. That looks so nice. So, yeah, it's a bit screwed up at the moment. But yeah, I've done a little bit. I've done all the uh, yoke and split the sleeves. Um, so yeah, that this- That raglan shaping in crochet. Yeah. 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 Shall I hold that one? Yeah, you? which I've never done before. So the, so this yarn is just like a self-striping yeah. yarn. I was going to do it with my with my scraps. Yeah. But then because I, I saw that it was stash bust, I was like, yeah, just get your... That looks so nice. Come across this and I was like, yeah, this is perfect. Shall I haven't got to keep changing the colours. And it is Hayfield... Spirit? Yeah. 80% acrylic, 20% uh, wool. Nice. But yeah, I can't remember where I got this. So I had two, but the only problem is, look how it comes. I oh, think, so it keeps unravelling, really. Yeah, getting like, tangled. getting tangled. So with this one, I might um, wind it into yeah, a ball get before nice I... Winder out. Yeah, But yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I love but those colours. I've only got two of these. And because as you see, it's on the sleeve as well. Right. So what I might do is I've got like a grey that in that colour and I might split it. Oh, yeah, it's a darker so, grey. Yeah. So do do a few more rows of this, then a big band of the grey. Yeah. And then carry on with this again. That'd be perfect. And then so do you've that got on, enough for the sleeves. So I've got enough for the sleeves. What about the um the band? Has it got buttons? No, no. no buttons. But it's got it has got a band. Yeah. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do that in white. Nice. The band because it's got the white in the. Yeah. Maybe, but I'll try. Yeah. And if I don't like it, then I'll just rip back and, and I might then. I've got, I've got a pur purple in that as well. So. Yeah. But yeah. That's so fun. That's so fun. It yeah. is. It's a nice. I'm enjoying that. I do love doing the stripes, yeah. the granny stripes. Yeah, it's, it's, it is a really nice yeah. Um, movement. Yeah, but I think I'm good. I love purple. Purple is yeah. my favourite colour. So, yeah, I'm really happy with so that. So fun. Was that, a paid, that was a paid for pattern? That was a paid for pattern, yeah. So, yeah. Lovely. Fun to have some crochet on the go as well. Oh, yes. And the grey was, I can't remember what colour it was. I think it was by Paintbox. That's just an acrylic. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think it was paint box, something like that. But yeah, it's gorgeous. It's nice. Perfect, like you said, for the garden and that. So. Yeah. yeah. Right, another whip. What should I go for? I will. I think I'll talk about this hat. So we went on holiday to Weymouth last week. So yeah. that's why this has come out a little bit later yeah. than we have been. And I needed a project that I could just pick up and knit, put down again. Um, while we're at the beach or in the evenings yeah. and uh, I went for another classic rid hat by Pearl Soho um, in uh, this yarn, do you want to hold that yeah. for me? Which is gorgeous yarns which I got at um, Unravel which is a, I'll show you the That's so nice, that gorgeous color. yarns um, which is naturally dyed with madder. All right. And it's a British Corydale DK, 100 grams, 220 meters. That's so, so nice. I like it the way it spirals. Yeah, like where the, the spiral. 
but that's just with the natural dye that's yeah. a variation i suppose while it was in the pot but i couldn't resist that, that lovely because i haven't really yeah done much with natural used no. anything sort of naturally dyed before no. but i thought it would go with lots of different things but yeah as it's spiraling round it really shows up there as well yes yeah, really good i love this pattern again yes yeah. uh one by one rib this is a free pattern as well yeah um easy to just on the go knitting i think i've got maybe an inch more before i do the decreases, decreases yeah for the crown yeah so fun i, I that. enjoyed knitting that one. oh i've got my little i'll show you my little um oh your smiley twinge. cloud <laughs> um stitch marker that was from coral rose yeah Oh, lovely, five yeah, so yeah I couldn't resist that one. So that's fun. Oh, well done. Have Even you got... I've seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> <review>. <laughs> Shall I show another yeah. um, whip or have you got more? Um, I could show you my half finished yeah. project. So this, I finally finished the Hermione's Everyday Sock. Fun. With the Eye of Partridge Hill. I love that hill. So yeah, this I I enjoyed this. Again, you remember the pattern. So nice. And that was so that's the pattern. Hermione's everyday sock. I mean I think everyone's probably knit those. They're quite popular, aren't they? That's a free, a free pattern. Yeah, free yeah. pattern as well. Uh, Erica. I can't say this name. I'm not sure, I don't want to butcher it. But yeah. So these I knit out of uh fruit filled fusion in the colourway hope gorgeous yeah. yeah so nice i enjoyed doing that i've got well it's a half finished object so i've got to do the other one that's the one i was doing when it's inspired me to knit this pattern again and try actually do it with the heel because yeah. i did it with the fish lips kiss and just the normal toe that i use so i just right. used the stitch pattern but i really want to do this it um, is fun it's really fun yeah heel and, and her toe, she does does do it a little bit different. So she does it. Um, so normally you decrease, knit a row, decrease, knit a row until you get down to roughly sixteen stitches or whatever. Yeah. Before then, you just start decreasing until you're going to do your Kitchener. But this one, you do, you decrease and then you knit a couple of rounds and then okay. decrease again and then knit a couple of rounds. And which I did. So what does that leave you? What stitches does that leave, still leave it, you with sixteen? Um, I think no, eighteen. Oh, okay, so it's a more ra was it a rounded toe then? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't really see much difference. I didn't see much difference, but when I was making this one, yeah, I I got to the toe of the twenty four day sock, and I went on to Ravelry back to my pattern to have a look, and I started doing it. I was like, oh, this is a different toe. Oh, you picked up the other pattern. <laughs> I, I, look, I was looking at the Hermione's. So these have got the Hermione's toe. I mean, there's not much of a difference. Yeah. But yeah, these have got the Hermione's toe, not the 24 days. Although toe. worth trying the different shaping, depending yeah. on your foot shape. Yeah. because. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I don't see much difference in it. So but yeah. And another one of those to knit. Yes. Yep. Um, I'll go for so another spinning oh sorry crinkling i should have got that out before sorry. um so i finished um this spin oh, which on. is well i haven't finished this spin it's half finished um hasn't got a colorway name but it's from wonderful wall um was the braid and it is 100 grams Corydal, Rambouillet, which I've never spun before, and Lotus Fibre. Oh, right. So really um, fun to spin, really interesting. Oh, I've actually got a picture that I sent you. Oh, yeah, I'll put I'll so that. that. That's what the braid looked like before. And I split it up into lots of little pieces and then just randomly picked colours to um, that is so nice. spin. So it's 100 grams on here, aiming for a two-ply DK. And I'm going to apply it with just plain white. Right. So it'll be a mild stripe. Yeah. Um, Self-striping. 200 wow. grams in the end. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. That turns out all right. But yeah, had a lot of fun. 
I bet that is spinning really, that as well. I love the rainbows. Yeah, Neon I can't resist. Yeah, I can't resist. It's, it's so fun to spin, and yeah. it's now I've got just white that I'm. Yeah. Got to spin the hundred grams, yeah. so it'll go slower. It'll be a while, but I thought I'll show it while it's halfway through. Yeah. So then you can see. That's right. Yeah. But that's on my Ashford Kiwi Two spinning wheel. That's why I did that. So yeah. I should bring my um. <clears throat> I printed out a control card thing which has thicknesses of yarn and it says when this is plied back for a DK it should be between 12 and 14 right on this little card so yeah. what I do is as I'm spinning I start I ply it back on itself and I lay it on the card to see oh, if right, it's yeah. between the 12 and 14 and that's how I keep it consistent when I'm spinning but at that's some good. point I'll yes we're gonna do yeah one. do some videos and show how I spin yeah. yarn on a drop spindle spinning wheel we just have to get a yeah. sort of better Put in setup. the comments below if you'd like to <clears throat> yeah, sort see. Of series. Yeah, we'll do an extra. Maybe even some dyeing yarn. Yeah. You could dye some yarn. Yeah. Bring my stuff yeah. round. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be like, just an extra. Yeah, fun thing to do because yeah. people might be interested. There are lots of um, videos out there, oh, though, yeah. tutorials, if people are interested in how people spin. Yeah. I learn everything from YouTube videos. I was yeah. never, I never oh, took same. a class. I've learned everything. Everything, yeah. knitting, sewing. Everything. Is it very YouTube. pink knits? Does amazing. She's really good. Yeah. Um, tutorials for techniques. Yeah. It's anything I don't know a pattern, I, I go yeah, on. Yeah, same. Yeah. And which yeah, I have to do with the two by two. Yeah. Um, tubular binder. Tubular. Yeah. So yeah, that's fun. That is really nice. Very really nice. Right. What have I got? Oh, this tea is fun. Another drink. Du, du, du. So, I've cast on the Musselburgh. I think that's how you say it. People say Musselburgh or Musselburgh. Well, it's like, yeah, Edinburgh. Yeah, I think it's Musselburgh. So, yeah, I've cast on the Musselburgh. I say, yeah, like I I, know, <laughs> I named it. Could be. Could be Musselburgh. Yeah, yeah. I know some people call it that and some people call it Musselburgh. Um, and that is by... Um, it's older. I think it's yeah. It's, it's older. older tea, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's chair. I'm glad like you, a big kid. To... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop spinning. <laughs> Get told off. Oh, it's good job I don't work in an office. I'd just be <laughs> sliding around, not doing any work. <laughs> so again, in purple. Fun. So this is such a fun knit. This was your holiday oh. knitting. Yeah, this was my car journey and beach knitting. So with this, you start off at the end, at the, which took me ages <laughs> to get my... I kept saying, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It was a, what was it, a... A pinwheel cast, cast on. on. I haven't done one of those. No, I've never done one. And it, every time I've done it, I was just like, that, that does not look right. <laughs> and I realised, I was just looking at it inside out. Oh, yeah, Turned probably it around won't. and I was like, oh yeah, there's the pinwheel. Looks wheel. fine then. <laughs> so you yeah. got there. Yeah, I got there in the end. Yeah, I weren't giving up. I was like, no. I really want, everyone, I'm like, everyone's knitting these, they're saying how easy. And I'm like, I've done it about five times now and I'm, <laughs> and I'm ripping it back and going, no, it's not easy. Don't know what's gone wrong. But yeah, once I, I'll be able to do it again. So yeah, you start at the bottom, uh, work your way up and then stock a net all the way and then you've got a decrease and it folds in on itself. Um, so, so a double thickness hat. Double thickness hat. It's so, oh, I love it. I love it. But the best thing about it is this is your swatch. Nice. You can knit this any needle size, any yarn size. And then you, once you've got enough to measure your gauge, she's then got tables so you can just read it off and you know you how You know much. how many decreases you need. Oh, because it's starting at that point. Yeah. yeah you know how there. many decreases you need. So you're, there's no swatching. You can do oh, it. Oh, lovely. Any, love that. Yeah. So good. So good. So you, it don't matter what needle size, what, whatever gauge you get, she's yeah. got it. So are you, table. you're doing it the, the same colours? I've seen people yeah. change colours halfway through. Yeah. No. So it's like a reversible. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to do it in the same colour all the way up. But I will definitely be doing more of these. Um, I love this uh, self-striping and micro-stripes. Yeah. And I've never used them. Um, so this is the Dragon Hill Studio um, 
Yeah. Does that sound like a Cadbury's? No, it's, I think it's, I think it's Black Current Storm. Yeah, Black Current Storm. So let's see, Dragon Hill Studio. Oh, is that? Black Current Storm. But yeah, I only ever knit socks with their yarn. Yeah. And this time I was like, but now I'm, I've got loads of Have their. you got any yarn? Because you went through a stage of oh, collecting. Oh yeah, I've got a whole bag yeah, of it. Yeah, collecting. <laughs> whole bag of it. So yeah, I will. Another one of your yarn baskets. Yeah. But yeah, that's not, it's so, it's such a nice I've been knit. wanting to knit one as well because it seems just yeah. relaxing to have the and round And she's got quite, quite a few sizes. I haven't, I don't think I've printed out. What size are you? The small? I'm doing the adult medium, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the adult medium. But yeah. But yeah, this would this would be a great. This is just a great one to pick up when you're travelling or in front of a movie, so sitting fun. on the beach. <laughs> but it'll go nicely with your cardigan as well. Yeah, yeah. Even though the cardigan I want for the <laughs> summer, I'll oh, be yeah. sat there, yeah. sat there with my oh, yeah, yeah. But no, I will be wearing it in winter as well. But yeah, so fun. I'm really happy with that. How much more have you got? So I think before the mine, decreases. I've got to do. 18 and a quarter inches so i've still got quite a bit to do yeah um and then i'll do the decreases but because i'm not sure i'm like is that enough and then i've got to remember that it's a double folded hat because i'm like that's oh, gonna so be i suppose it's harder to it's hard i know because you could you know the brim could be yeah. tall or short so you've got and you a bit don't of have to have room. the brim either you don't no. have to have like you can just tuck it up or you can have the brim so you think you go for the folded i think i'm just going to go for the folded yeah but yeah so happy with that the stripes have come out really well as well yeah micro they? stripes that's great yeah because yeah. sometimes they don't quite meet up and you've got a sort of staggering yeah thing, but well that's, that's why i wasn't too sure on how it's going to really be well. but it has worked so yeah everyone knit a muscle bra i mean um, you probably already have because they have it, it, yeah a lot of people have i haven't um done one yet but i will definitely be making more of them Another whip, so I'm looking through what have I've already shown that. Okay, I'll show you this one. So this is in my um crafty Valentine um project bag yeah. that Tracy made. You still got more of these in the shop, haven't you? Yes. So yes. Tracy makes project bags. So I haven't for a while. But you've got a few I've still. Got, I think I've got four in the shop at the minute, yeah. So go and um check it out, Crafty Valentine on Etsy. Yeah. That'll be in the description box. And in here, right, so a few weeks ago I made, uh, I can't remember what episode it was, episode two, uh, showed a ripple bralette, oh, needles, that I'd been working on. So I did, I, I've been wearing it so much, the one I made, that I decided to cast on another. It doesn't look like much here, but it's a paid for pattern. So it's the ripple bralette by Jessie May Designs. And I decided to use some scraps for this one yeah it might pop off the needles so this green which i only had a little bit left of oh there we go is some that i dyed oh, myself right. that we used in the litmus oh yeah cow um and That's then nice. love those colors the i striped the others with this so this um pink i want to say it's um a mini by River Knits. Right. But it might not be. So not sure about that one. And this was from Wonderful Wall, which is like a neon. That's lovely. Um they don't have colour um colourway names in the shops. It's just um dye batches, I think, experiments and oh, right. uh, non repeatable colourways, I think. It didn't have a colourway name. So that's just a um merino nylon. So that's yeah, that's I'm just gonna sort be of... really nice, proper summery. Yeah, ice cream. It reminds me of yeah, ice cream. Yeah, it is really summery. I'm I'm really feeling the peach and green. Yeah. colors at yeah. the moment. I can't stop. Yeah. Um. We do. Know, we get. We do this, don't we? Yeah, color. <laughs> um, being drawn to different yeah. colors. Yeah. One keep... episode we're like, oh, I love this color, and then the next episode we're like, oh, yeah. Then so I get home and I go, oh, I've got more of that peach. <laughs> Peach, um, peachy green. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably. I wanted it to be longer than the last one I made. 
Yeah. So I might still do maybe. That I really want to make one. It's top before. It's the... bottom up, isn't it? Yeah, and it has a Norwegian cast on, which I had to learn. Right, I, yeah, um, I've not done one of those. And from the, the the last time I learned it, I still had to go on and watch another, but it's really stretchy. Right. So it gives you... Yeah. But something I didn't do with that the... Looks, it looks small. So yeah, if I was stretches. knitting this, I'd be like, oh, I've done something wrong. But it is, you know, it's a little bit sort of see-through. So yeah. I'd still wear... I wouldn't wear it without a bra or anything underneath. No. Well, I don't know. If I was at home, it yeah. wouldn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, out and about. No. Um, but... You cast off half the stitches before you sort of make the bra cut right. parts of it. And I will use a stretchy, a stretchier bind off this time. Last time I didn't, and it wasn't quite enough. It kind of digs in right, a little okay. bit around the shoulder blades. So yeah. I'll be more mindful of that. What needle to, size are you using for that? Uh, 3.5. Right. And I think the one that just fell out. Um, yeah. 2.75 for the ribbing. Yeah. So, but this pattern also comes in a DK version, which I might get and do yeah. later on because yeah. it will knit, knit up quicker and I've got lots of hands fun. Yeah. Um, single skeins, so it would probably be enough. So, so is this just what, so would you say one skein or would you need? It depends on what size you are. I think I'm doing the medium. Yeah. And last time I used about 60 grams. Right. Okay. For the whole top. And I so made I've it got slightly. So many. It sort of came one... to there yeah. so yeah yeah I've oh yeah so one, one skein should be enough for um okay so so shannon, again, i know shannon really wants one and i've got a depending on yeah right but depending on sizes yeah so obviously if you're bigger it might take just over one but i'm sure actually from the pattern actually you know what am i going to be able to find it quickly probably not no, I've got the pattern here so I can see. Um, yardage, um, meter ridge, 731 meters for the largest size, so that would be two skeins. Right, okay. And the largest um, size is 60 to 62 inches. All right. So, yeah. Oh, I think Shannon will be a medium anyway. So. Fun. Have you got <laughs> more? Um, yeah whips i have right, i'll put that over there now so i showed this on the i can't remember what episode it was now the natic natica natica so cow nice. um oh you won't be able to show the back picture without yeah no oh, it's, oh no it's free it's, it's free, free pattern. Pattern. yeah it's really nice i absolutely love it um so this is the colorful knit Colourful knit. I'll put it in the show notes for below anyway. And I got some Bird Street yarn. <laughs> their east. It was their. I think it was their Easter colourways, wasn't it? Um, Easter egg hunt. Candy and Easter egg hunt. And I thought it would go perfectly. Oh. Do you see what I mean? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, where's the... that? I will show you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to find. Oh, the joy! What I don't like about it, right? So oh. look how beautiful. Those. What's that sort of an eyelet? What is that an eyelet wrapped, wrapped eyelet? Um, it's really interesting. It's just like a leg, but then you've got a lateral braid that separates. Oh wow! You see the braid that goes. I love. The Those pattern. Colours, that's I beautiful. absolutely love the pattern, but oh, oh. So this is my fault. That's the bottom one. Okay. You know you when you're doing seam. it. So yeah, it's got a seam, and I really don't like the seam. Show it on this stripe section, the diagonal. Yeah. Well, that is my fault. Oh, okay. That's my fault. That's just because you're doing two. I was trying to do a jobless. Oh, okay, and you staggered it. So at first I done uh, where, you know, like when you just take the stitch from the bottom. Oh, drag, and up, drag the it up and knit it below. together. Yeah. yeah. And it was really, and I should have known because I've done it before. And then I always look at it and go, oh, no, I don't like that. And then at the end, you can't, you can't see it. No. This time I thought, oh, I'll try something different and stagger it. 
and now you can you can really see i don't know whether when i block it whether you'll be able to see let me see let me have a look i really don't like to when you've got to do the jobless and you said there was something going there's a seam. oh then there's a straight seam. yeah oh do you see what i mean it's so how's like... that occurred then so you... well i went i that's the pattern okay that is the pattern that's that seam there um but I went on to Ravelry and I've seen that some people have cast on, so this, you cast on 110 and yeah. then I've, I, because of that seam, I thought, have I done something wrong or is that, is that the pattern? So I went on Ravelry and went through some people's notes and quite a few people have said about the seam and have cast on 111 stitches. And if you do that, apparently that seam disappears. You, oh, okay. It just carries on. So really it should have probably had 111 to start with. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm fogging it. I am gonna fog it. And start again. And I, I might start again. I might start again. I just, I hate I, I, jobless. I really love this yarn in that stitch pattern. Yeah, me too. It's so, so nice. Oh, I do love it. I am gonna fog it. Yeah. And I might cast on 111, and then do. The I suppose, normal jobless. Yeah. Because I've done it so many times. I, we've done it on the free colour cashmere cow. Yeah, well, I mean, what do I do? I think I, yeah, started pulling up that stitch yeah. and knitting two together. But I think now I've been slipping the first yes, one. Yeah, I've seen that as well. You know, is they're it, noticeable. Is it noticeable. Obviously, you end up still having that one tall stitch. So if it's a two row stripe yeah. at the beginning, you get that you get that long stitch for the yeah. two rows, which, yeah. um... Yeah. But it is so nice, isn't it? I suppose frog it, sit for a while, and then see how you feel I'm before gonna you. I'm going to be crying when I'm frogging. Yeah. <laughs> All that work. But, again, another pattern that you can I remember. Better, yeah. You, I literally was just sitting, I wasn't looking at the pattern, doing um, it. That's brilliant, I love that. Yeah. When you can just, yeah. um... It's memorised. And more learning something new, because I've never done uh, a lateral braid. Little, um wrap on that eyelet. But that's another thing, look. So the so I think with the lateral braid, look, can you see where oh, yeah, it goes that, up and it yeah, doesn't... jumps as well. I, I'm probably just being picky. And you probably wouldn't notice it. Because it's going to be it's gonna be knit the like is, the litmus cap. Yeah. So you, at the end, oh, you, you don't do a provisional cast on. I've seen a lot of people have done a provisional cast on. With this one, you crochet them together. Um, at the end, you use yeah, a crochet work. hook. <clears throat> it works. I can't remember if I... Did I use a crochet hook for that? No, I don't think I did. I think I'm just making that up. <laughs> but, you know, it's best to find out, to do it to side now, than to yeah, that's what the I mean. whole I, thing. I mean, I, even when I was doing this, I was thinking, oh, I'd already ripped it out once. Yeah. And then I'd done that and I thought was like that was even a bigger mistake. I sh would have been better off just leaving it how it was. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know whether I am just being picky or... It's going gonna, it's gonna to bug me. It stopped me working yeah. on it. Yeah. So I've got to do something about it. Rip it out, sit for a while and decide if you're going to cast it back on or yeah. find um, a different pattern. And, I, and this that's the problem. <clears throat> I love the yarns. I absolutely and that and I was like I love knitting with them. Yeah. But because I'm not enjoying the actual pattern. Yeah, it's I'm taken like, away from the I'm like I don't wanna I've got a I want in these yarns used in something that I'm gonna love. Yeah. Because I absolutely love them. So this is the candy and that is the Easter so, egg. So Easter egg. <laughs> egg. Easter egg, aren't there? Yeah. Bird Street's Easter oh. colourways. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. They so are. yeah, I can't <clears throat> carry on doing that in these while. No. So no. yeah, I will. I'll rip it out. I'll start again. Like how people have said, I might even do the provisional cast on yet. I'm not sure. Yeah, because then if you're going for you don't want the seams to show. Yeah. Then you might as well. Then take I that might as well time. do that because I've done and I know that I can Kitchener because I've done it on the litmus cow. Yeah. Kitchener and together at the end works well the yeah kitchen around yeah so as much as i love it i am i'm gonna i'm gonna do yeah it you've got a it's nice yarn you want to 
you know, you want to be happy. Yeah. At the end. Right, so this is, um, I've got a, <clears throat> another, excuse, excuse the coughing, uh, another whip here. Um, right, actually, oh, that should be all right. It's, it's intarsia, so I've got three balls connected to it. So I was looking on um, Instagram yeah. and this came up again, sale. Um, I saw that. Yeah. I did see that. So this is the, if you could hold that yeah. down there, this is the last light last light by stephanie <gasps> lotvin um oh my god that's beautiful and it's in tarja Look so how well showing up as well on there the main color is um woolly knits four ply or it might actually be a three ply british wall cone um in the colorway heron and then the color panels are either or a mixture of both jameson's and smith and jameson's of shetland yarns which um come in 25 uh gram balls but for these there's five of these panels and it only uses 37 meters is the recommended amount and i think like mini skeins if i'm correct are about 80 meters aren't they a mini yes. skein a 20 gram yeah. four ply yeah and the and the main colour, 100 grams. So you um, knit along with one colour. Yeah. Drop, drop the main colour, um, wrap over the old yarn, goes over the new yarn, bring it up and knit the new colour. <gasps> but this um, paid for pattern. Right. Uh, easy to memorize so after the first section this first triangle section here i had yeah. the pattern memorized which i love because i don't need to sit there reading yeah. the pattern and although it's in tarja you, there's only three balls right. so you don't need all the bobbins that you might yeah. have little bobbins hanging on the back so yeah. it's a great beginner in tarja project because there's a lot of things coming out now i've noticed a lot of in yes, yes. coming in and people might I, yeah i i saw this one i saw this one on there and i was like oh so good but i wasn't sure how how to do it yeah it's really simple um i'll show you the back um so you've got the strands um coming over but it will have five of these um diamonds so i'll let you hold that and yep. i'll get the other two so. colors out so i think i've got one round of the what have i got that one's already been used next i will use this color yeah. um under here Oh no, that's a lie. I'm going to use, where is it? This one. Right. Next. So it's sort of light, dark, medium, and then underneath I'll have this one. But next time, you know, hopefully I'll have it finished by next episode and then I'll actually find exactly the colour names of these. Yeah. Um, and see, because I, I went through a stage of buying both the Jameson and Smith and the Jameson Spindrift and... Yeah, I've got I've got yarn wrapped around the tag, so I know which is which. But so fun! I've just been flying. That is so nice. I love that. I'm so happy with it. This is the first time I've used um these wool cones as well. The woolly knits. Yeah. Wool cones. Really happy with it. It has got um a few guard hairs in, but I just pull those out. Yeah. Um, when I come to him, but it's soft enough. Yeah, it's fine. Um, for me and really good value. It's eighteen pounds. I think it's eighteen pounds for five hundred grams of this yarn. It comes in all different colours. This was heron. It's so good. So yeah, um, oh, that was another thing. In the pattern, it has this. Sometimes when you have this edge, it. It's really tight so when you go to yeah. block it there was some stitches put in in a way that it makes this stretchy yeah which doesn't normally happen this line along the triangle shawl yeah is normally really tight and it's so stretchy so i will use techniques used and the edges for this on other things other patterns even if it's not yeah you know add that as the um edging you give me too much inspiration <laughs> so fun everything you do i'm like oh i want to make that yeah, so, well, <laughs> and then i'll show it on the podcast and be like yeah well, <laughs> well it's a good use for those mini 
minis as well. Yeah. To have in their, you know, rainbow colours. These, you could even strike these. Scarter. I could, you could do this strike. The, um, what are those that I've got? The... Oh, your pebbles. No, well, yeah, any of the Bird Street, but also... The... Oh, can't think now. Can't think of... Um, oh, uh, you know the purple skin. fade? And oh, the gorilla. botanical yarns. That's the one. I've got them sets. Oh, would well, you know what? You could have the background as the fade and then do the pops of... Yeah. But so fun. Yeah, so fun. Really so nice. two more of those diamonds to do. Uh, they're not diamonds. These. And then there's a bit of a more of this just as the edging. And then I think it's an eye cord. Nice. Bind off. Love that. So shawls again. Yeah. Just loving the shawls right now, even though I've got um, garments, summer garments, I should probably be working on. But yeah, I'm still yet to start my summer. But I will shawls. be next. So did I say, yeah. Last light, Stephanie Lotfen. But I think that's Telly, Telly Dean. I'm not sure. But it'll be all in yeah, the Yeah, we'll put it in the description. Um, have I got anything else? Oh, one more. This is just another... Shorty sock that I've started. I've just got to do that's the toe of this yarn. one now. It's so nice, isn't it? I'm enjoying doing the shorty socks at the moment. But yeah, it's just got the toe to do. And that is in... Look at that. So nice. And a big stripe. Um, yeah. Repeat. Are you yeah. going to match it? Mm. Or just see how it turns out? I might. I might. We'll see. Um, so this is Head Over Heels All Stars which I'd used on the last um, shorty socks that I've done in a different colourway. This is Aussie. Aussie. Fun. But yeah, nice. Look at the colour. Okay, and the peachy. Peachy, peachy colours. And greens. Yeah. 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 Very summery, these. Yeah. But obviously my mum has finished her sock. Brilliant. So she's knit her first pair of socks, which I'll, I'll put in a photo of them because yeah. she'll, she'll be so proud. She is so proud. Well, it's um, amazing. She's could knit already. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she'd never knit on circular needles. No. And all these socks that I keep making her, she and obviously when we started the podcast, she was like, oh, I want to make some socks. So yeah. I was like, right, I taught her how to do it. Well, I didn't really need to teach her much of how to do it. She did keep phoning me on the first sock. Um, and, oh, showing and, and her... video calls, wasn't it? Video calls. <laughs> yeah, she would be like, you know, on this bit, and she'd be showing me the sock, but I'd be looking at her salt and pepper pots that are on her table. <laughs> oh, I go like that. Yeah. Oh, this thing I was like, Mum, I can't see, see anything. See this. <laughs> yeah, so it was difficult. I'm like, just come over. Come when you're next round. We'll we'll sit and do it. Much but, easier in person. Yeah. So my last, um, the last shorty socks that I made for my sister. Yeah. My mum has taken the other half home, and she's. Oh, there's enough yeah. left of the yarn. Yeah, and she's finished one of the shorty socks already. Brilliant. So I'm like, I, I want, she can give me yeah, socks Yeah, she'll be now. getting new socks <laughs> yeah. now. And you're like, oh, this yeah. pattern, I like these Or socks. I'll be making my own socks and being like, I can keep them. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I can keep, keep these them ones. Now. So yeah, it's lovely. It's so nice. But I will put the pictures in because she, yeah. she'll be happy with that. Brilliant. So yeah, so I've got a few socks on the go again. Uh, I've always got socks on the go. Yeah, I need to start. I've been craving um some socks and i might actually cast them on when i get home i've just got some love i can't remember what they're called but i will show them i'll probably cast them on and show them on the next but I've, i have got a few with color work nice which i'm i'm excited go about. up a needle size with the color work or yeah. with everything with the color work just with the color work yeah right and then drop down again that would be my recommendation yeah. same with these you know yeah it's recommended to go up a needle size with the color work because the strands at the back hasn't got as much stretch yeah so it allows um, more yeah. of that. But you can always try it on it. You, do, you knit, yeah, you knit top down anyway. Yeah. So you can always try it on after you do the colour work. And if it's not, yeah, then you haven't knit the whole sock to find out. No. No. That's Fun. Fun. Is that all our whips? I think that is. So we'll come back and rearrange everything. And then mm. stash. Acquisitions. Acquisitions. We have got loads. <laughs> I haven't brought everything, so... <laughs> There's more at home, I couldn't bring it all. But we'll be back in a minute with that. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> we will when I can <laughs> Right, welcome back. So, we're going to talk so, about our acquisitions. Look at my pile. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. We have got a lot of stuff. What are you going to start with? I'll start with this. So, I got an email from Yarn Dale. That's fun. And they had the... Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Yeah. I'm I'm a sucker for the their little sheep, woolly sheep. That's so fun. I think this one. So it's a set. So you get the. Oh, uh, is that the yarn West that Yorkshire the thing's spinners. been? So it's like a photo print. Yeah. Of that. West Yorkshire Spinners uh, signature floor ply, and it's the colourway Maud. So that's what the sheep's called. Oh, cute. And then it just comes in that. So as soon as I got the email, I was like, oh, I've got a rabbit. Nice. It's so nice, isn't it? I often buy there um, when they do that. Contains 35% blue face Leicester, 75% wool, 25 nylon. Yeah. So nice, stripes. isn't it? But yeah, I've, that would just be socks. Nice oh, though. Oh, that would go nice as a muscle bra. As oh, well yeah. with the stripes. Yeah. Yes. Lots of things, shall I? Yeah. Oh, actually, because no, mine go in with other things. So, um, mind you, actually, while I was on that Leandale site, I saw that they had a sale and I got, oh God, that was probably a proper <laughs> <laughs> close, up. Like close up. <laughs> yeah. Um, look at this. So Aww. this is what I'm keeping all my whips in at the moment. Nice. They were on sale. I can't remember how much it was now. Really cheap though. Yeah. Really cheap. And I was like, that's perfect size just to keep all my whips in. So even though I took this on holiday. Yeah, with all the stuff in it. <laughs> with all my bits in it. But yeah, I like that. That's, That's so good. cute. And another little sheep. I can't remember what that like, one's name is. They've done it like a collage where it's like yeah. photos and knitwear on there. So the cute, print. isn't it? Yeah. Love it. Oh, that was me clicking. You're clicking your elbows. Yeah. Right, do you want to do I'll, I'll wait because it leads on from some of yours. Oh, right. What okay. about, um, what, Nathan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. So, if you remember, Kirsty's partner bought her some, um, went to a yarn shop, didn't he, yeah. on his own with no, not being asked to or anything, and uh, bought her some lovely yarn, and that, if you remember, I was like, oh, isn't he, isn't he lovely, Nathan? <laughs> you, did the, you did the hint. It worked. What? He watched the video, he came home, and he was like, oh place where we work he said I was driving past he said and I saw there was a craft centre he said so I thought oh I'll pop in there and see if there's a yarn shop well he found a yarn shop um right near where, where we work yep. down in um so it's I think it was Andover Wayhill Andover yeah uh Beaker Button she makes the Dorset Buttons and she's um, she's Beaker Button on Instagram as well, yep. so you can check out yeah, her Instagram her if you're interested. And lots of beautiful Dorset. Yeah, she makes lovely buttons. Uh, that's what she's known for. But yeah, yeah her, I didn't even know that she had a store full of No, we've really <laughs> yarn. not been paying enough attention, have no, we, to local no, yarn stores? No, because we didn't think there was that many around. No. I mean, we obviously we say about um, Skin Queen. Yep. We went there and didn't yeah. realise... Um, so yeah, he come home. Well, he actually, he didn't come home. He FaceTimed me while he was in the shop. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I'm like, just pick anything. Just choose whatever. And I think she was helping him yeah. choose. I said, just get some sock. Something that I can make some socks out of. Yeah. And he come home with this one. It's right. beautiful. I love that. Man, I'll steal Uruguay. Yeah. Uh, has it got a colour? Mang Mangla? Mang Mangla Mangla Um Yeah, lovely. That's so soft. So yeah, it's soft. really soft. It is um seventy five percent merino superwash, twenty five percent polyamide. But it's super soft that is. But yeah, bless him. Fun. Yeah. And that one is I love that greens. Malabrigo. Uh, has it got a colourway? That's it there. 
Indesita. There. But yeah, again, love that. Yeah, like um that would be an ocean as well. Ocean colours. Yeah. But yeah, bless his heart. <laughs> that was good. So it worked. Yeah. My my hinting worked. <laughs> And we did. We drove past the other day. He was like, "Do you want to go in there?" I was like, "No, we're, I'll I'll wait wait for a bit. I will be going in there and having but, a yeah. look myself." But yeah, I was like, "No, we can't. I've got enough at the minute." So after the last episode, we went and checked out Skiing Queen's studio. Studio, like studio. studio. Okay. So um, Rachel was lovely and yeah. let us come and visit. So we we phoned beforehand. You can find. We'll link the details below yeah so it's their workplace and where they dye the yarn but if you phone beforehand you can pop in and yeah. buy some things but it's not really a shop it's their no, studio no it's their studio so but you, you to... yeah you do need to phone first because like she could be on school run or she might yeah. be busy but she was lovely and really nice and talked about the yarn we yeah. came and we'll insert a little bit of tiny video. bit of video yeah we'll show you what um her studio but it was lovely being like. able to talk to her squish all the yarn yeah and so hard to decide what to get i haven't um brought everything with me no i got but i couldn't resist um this it's again beautiful. the peaches and greens this is um honey creeper crush 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon four ply fingering 425 meters so nice. So I've got um two of these. Well, you actually got one. Yeah. And I got one, but I've swapped, haven't I? With yeah. you. So I can end up with two for a shawl or a cropped short sleeve yeah. sweater or something. So that yeah, was lovely that one. The first one. And then there's this um DK in the colourway um ballerina. This is voluptuous DK. 80% Exmoor blue face and 20% organic merino. So non superwash DK, 200 grams, 512 meters. That's lovely, that is. So I thought pair it with something else, maybe some hand spun. It would be yeah. perfect to pair with some hand spun yeah. color work. Or... Did you say 200 grams? 200 well? grams. Oh, wow. So loads yeah. there to work with. So couldn't resist um, no. this. So if you've got your yeah, I've got. So this was the one you this wanted. Is, yeah, this is the one that I wanted, and um, I'd already picked Kirstie it up. Kirsty had already picked it up, and we're, and then I was hunting through it all, and thinking, <laughs> where is it? Is there another one? And there wasn't. But Kirsty obviously she's come around today, and she said we could swap, so so she could have the two skeins. Yeah, so I can get more. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it is Kingfisher. The colourway and the Silkino. Sil Silkino is the, um, that's their... Singles. Yeah. Base. 30% silk, 70% merino. Yeah. It'd be a nice shawl, I think. So soft. And it the sheen. So... Yeah. Um, there were some samples there that we were looking at and the stitch definition and the sheen was yeah. just yeah. stunning. It, those, um, I can't remember what the shawl was now that she had... Pebble Beach. Yeah. Sure. I will be doing and one of those. sample. But yeah, so that's lovely. And then I, did I have another? Or was that that one that's the silky? No. 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 I think that green one, is it? No. Oh no, I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Monterey Bay. Oh, look at that. Again, that's like mermaid. Yeah. Seashells. Yeah. So beautiful. And that again is the 70% superwash merino, 30% silk. But it was so hard to choose, wasn't it? Because there was so Yeah, oh, it was there were so many. So many nice beautiful colourways yeah. to choose from. It really was hard to decide. Yeah. Um so this one, Georgia Peach. Is that the Silkino again? No, this one is Merlin. And it is uh, ninety percent superwash merino and ten percent linen, and that's the singles as well. Yeah, is it? yeah, it's so nice. God. I love that's so pretty these colours yeah. with the show the speckles at the. So nice, really Gorgeous. nice. 
I don't know what I'm going to be doing with all these. But yeah, I've never I've never worked with. It's got ten percent linen in. Looks really nice. Yeah. Did I show you that one? Yeah. Yeah. And then pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker for the greens. I love. And this one is. Oh wow. Yak Yaksino. Is that I think that's their what are they called their base names base names yeah uh, this is sixty percent superwash merino twenty percent silk and twenty percent yak so gorgeous again don't know what I'm gonna <laughs> that would make a to... really nice um, ripple bralette as well because my one had yak in oh it. did it yeah the yarn it was really nice I would make that one for myself because I love that colour. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make one for me and then... And then you know how to make yeah, it. Yeah, and then went, let Shannon go through and choose what colour she wants. But yeah, so nice. I love that green. Fun. Really nice. Have you got anything else? No, now, now it's um these. All right. So I ordered... Um, a sock set, yeah, <clears throat> from Moonlight Fibre. Jo. Yeah. She's got some lovely, lovely sets. Fairly new dyer, I believe. The, the Itsy Shop's new. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yarns. Well, as soon as I saw this on Instagram, I love the pink, the greens and the pinks. Yeah. Together is, I, as soon as I saw it, I thought, I've got to order that. So, yeah, went straight on, ordered it. And bless her, she... She sent a sister set for Kirsty. That was so lovely. So of Joe. Nice. I've, I've gone and, and thanked her, but it's such a lovely gift. How amazing! But yeah, so now is that we've yeah. Got... So I've got the the larger green. So it's a hundred grams um, of the larger skein and a twenty gram mini, mini. Um, four hundred meters and eighty meters. So I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Minis having yeah. eighty meters. Um, 75% superwash merino, 25% super nylon, but yeah, how cute, that, I love so them, so fun, I love them, thank you, so yes, thank you, can't Joe. wait to yeah. knit up something, I, I'm not sure if I'll do socks or, actually socks would be nice, and then colour work, yeah, around the cuff in the yeah. pink, that would be and really actually nice. that will work with the one, the pattern that I have, yeah, so yeah, that is a good idea actually. So then I went on to Moonlight Fibre and um, looked, I'd seen this one and I once I'd spent money at Skin mm -hmm. Queen, I had to wait to get paid again. And then I got this, which is um, Key Lime Pie Sock, 80% um, pole worth, 20% nylon. I love pole worth, 400 metres. That's so nice. So... Again, love that colour. Yeah, it's the it's the peaches. Again, peaches and green. Yeah. Um, let's see if you can. Yeah, the stain's yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's a different thickness, so it wouldn't go with that. Although I have got a book. Um, I'll talk about it next time. That has combining different thicknesses oh, right. okay. of yarn. But I also got some fibre. So Joe dyes beautiful fibre as well. This is the Cutaway Radiant Rebellion in Falkland, 100 grams, so. That is beautiful. Yeah. Peaches. That's gonna be so nice. Pinks. So I'll probably spin that as a DK. Yeah. As well, you know, and I could even, oh, it wouldn't pair with this if I did it as a DK, but. Lovely. Gorgeous. So, so nice. So happy with those. Yeah. So I think that's um no, oh, oh you've got those yeah, got more cones. cones. These are brilliant. So I think you what who was you watching? Cat, Heather and uh, Cat, Heather and Hot. Yeah. And she mentioned about the price point of these yarns as well, and I'd never heard of them and went straight onto the website yeah. and ordered some Woolly Knits. Woolly, Woolly Knits. Knits. Yeah. Well link in the description. Yeah. But really reasonably priced look at that so this one is 100 percent merino wool 
and you get 500 grams. Is that a four ply? It is four ply, yeah. And that was 18 grams? Uh, yeah, 18 or 20, 18? I think the merino might have been. Yeah. But that's 500 grams of four ply. And I know with the, the yarn I've got, that's just British wool, so it's not merino. That was 18 pounds. But I think the meterage worked out as 475 meters per 100 grams yeah. as well. So the total. So you know, worth it. Yeah. So worth it. Um, they did just have a sale. I don't know whether it's still on. Uh, 20% I think that was a British... Jubilee weekend sale. Oh, was it? All yeah. oh, right. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to make that. I might do the, what was I saying? Ranunculus. Ranunculus in that, maybe. That would be lovely. It would be nice. You can also hold, hold these double for DK as yeah. well. They're the right yeah. thickness to get a perfect They've decay. also got, like, you can do it, can't you? You don't even have to take it off the cone, I think. I don't know. I remember seeing that you can, you've can. you got one end there and then you can take it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah. But plenty to plenty work to with. Work shawls. With. And then I saw this set. And this is, this was 90% wool and 10% nylon. So good for socks. So this is the sock This was the sock. Yeah, so I bought... I got this one and that one and got a sock pattern for £12. That's brilliant. There's 200, was it 200 grams? Yeah, 200 grams. 200 grams on each coat. And that's sock weight, sock yarn, high twist. I'll see if I can get a, um, so you can see the, it's yeah. quite springy, but really high twist. Yeah. So perfect for socks. Yeah. But, and so affordable. And you can choose whatever colours you want for the two colours. There's loads. Loads of colours. Yeah. Loads really of colours to colours. choose from. So, yeah, that's woolly knits. They also sell acrylic yarn cones as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I can. You can't go wrong, can you, for that? So, I'd definitely be buying more. Yeah, I have already gone on and got some more. Okay. But I'll show you as I'm knitting things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we just look like yarn pigs. Yeah, yeah, there is that. <laughs> yeah. So. It becomes overwhelming, like you've got all this beautiful yarn and you're like, I want to knit everything. Yeah, and then it's deciding and pairing things together in the right combinations. But that's part of the fun, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah. But so yeah. just one last thing to talk about. Yeah, we're um, we're going to the Summer Wool Festival. Yay. Oh, where, where was that? Bedfordshire? Was it Bedfordshire? Oh, it might not say on this one now. I think it is Bedfordshire. We'll link it in the description. So we're going on the 31st of July, the Sunday. So. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Squish more yarn. Yeah, more acquisitions. I'm going to think, I've come up with a plan before I go of what to get. Right. Either sort of like a sweater's quantity or for a particular project. Yeah. I've been really craving doing a rectangular wrap with some maybe brioche or something in it and buy the yarn specifically so for you know a project. What you're... Yeah. I yeah. think that's the plan this time rather than going around because otherwise I'll just come back with more peach. We say it every time though. <laughs> Although you did last time. Yeah, you got and your I'm going to do the same sweaters I, quantity. I'm didn't going you? to have a look for a sweaters uh the cardigan, the Whitmore cardigan. Yeah. So that's I know that I am gonna be looking for that. Yeah. I mean I'll always buy fiber as well. I can't resist uh, no. buying some fibre. But yeah, we've never been to this one. We normally go to the Southern Wall Show in Newbury and Unravel in Barnum. Um, but no, we've decided. We've bought our tickets. Yeah, so if go. anyone else is going and you see us, come and say hello. Oh yeah, definitely. And yeah, it'd be nice to have a chat. Yeah, with chat with people. people and see what you've been buying and making and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen there's some good vendors there. Some Sorry, good... Yeah. <laughs> bad, bad <street. laughs> so yeah brilliant so thank you very much for coming to join us today i um, hope you're all doing well everybody take care and, and don't we'll... forget to if you if you uh, didn't watch our last video please go and watch it if you're yeah two two of our winners um haven't contacted us yet no. so but the lovely we hope you to miss out diana was it diana i think it was diana yeah she 
hers went to California. Yeah, that was and the it's fiber. arrived and she's got it and she yeah. was so happy. Bless yeah. her. her email oh, was lovely. California. Made it so worth it, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah. well done, Diana. But yeah, if you um contact us, it would be great. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll wait and then we'll we'll have to we'll pick. have to redraw yeah. um winners. Yeah. But yeah. So take care, everyone, and we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.